STEM laboratory. Uh, that cost to Mendocino County would be three hundred and sixty-two thousand uh, dollars. Of course, we will be opposing that. The <laughs> Attorney General is is opposed to it, but it is part of the governor's proposed budget solution. So as we try and craft a, a budget, uh, we're sensitive to to all areas that we're looking to. When we have the opportunities to create revenue to offset other costs. We need to pay attention to those. So I just think it's it's important. We know these are real costs. We know there's seven hundred thousand dollars out there for a general fund subsidy. Anything we can do to chip away at it, I think it's prudent that we do that. Okay. Continued concerns, comments, action from the board. Well, not that I wanted to get into this issue today but when you're talking about the solid waste subsidy we solved that issue in the north county about 12 years ago by privatizing the whole garbage industry in, in northern mendocino county and it's only in the central to southern half of the county that we are subsidizing the trash business to the tune of seven hundred thousand dollars if we would do the same to the rest of the counties we done in the north county 10 12 years ago there would be no general fund subsidy to the solid waste division and that's just a fact we've done it in the northern end of the county it's been done and it's been working fine matter of fact our recycling efforts and our diversion rates are greater in the rural areas of northern mendocino county than they are probably in most areas of the state you know so we need to do that to the rest of the county and that that will be a tremendous general fund savings thank you supervisor supervisor smith thank you mr chair i think that the ceo referenced in the binder that I haven't seen but that he held up earlier that uh, they we have some diligent work going on in Department of DOT looking at data and the meeting that you referenced Mr. Mitchell that I believe is occurring tomorrow with respect to looking at this private public partnership concept to see if there are ways that we can reduce costs and and supervisor that it isn't true that the solid waste functions in the North County are not subsidized I believe and if Mr. DeShield was here he could be here I suppose to address this but we send a check specifically on Covalo every month and I think it's around the tune of three thousand dollars that we send to uh, to offset costs for what's going on in Covalo so it's not it's not true that there's no subsidy in the North County if if Covalo as one operation gets a three thousand dollar subsidy check per per uh, month. So I think that we're going to have to look at the overall operations, and I think this is a good opportunity to have all these folks coming together, and maybe we're going to improve it countywide. So I I look forward to that. But I think that we need to, as our business uh, friends and partners remind us all the time, we ought to be operating the county more like a business, and the subsidy of the general fund dollars that continues to go into in this case, particularly as we're looking at here today the solid waste function, I think that we need to uh, do what we can to defer some of those costs. And we really are only deferring a small amount because at the same time, the fuel costs and the disposal costs and the renewed contracts are all going to be going up. So this is just a hedge on inflation, so to speak. So I think that, that you know, it seems like these are substantial jumps, but they really are incremental cost increases that the county is incurring. So if we're going to operate the county as a business, we we couldn't operate it as a business if we if we were doing it we wouldn't be continue to stay in business because there wouldn't be the option of of a subsidy if we were in a, 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 a private mode here so I think that that these are reasonable given the expenses incurred that that you know is getting passed on to the solid waste division in terms of doing business I know they've honed in on staff issues done staff studies trying to really zero in on on reductions on absolutely every level and still there's nothing they can do to uh, defer the costs or or turn around the energy cost increases or, or disposal of fees that are passed on to them so i think they're doing a good job and with mr mitchell's um and the ceo office's guidance there'll be this bigger ongoing discussion that might come up give us some new some new information and new potential for the future of maybe doing things differently and so hopefully that'll happen but in the interim we've absolutely got to address the finances or I think we'll be ir irresponsible thank you supervisor pinches first of all the three thousand dollar a month subsidy is really not a trash subsidy in Covalo it's really what we're doing is we're subsidizing 
actually the trash that comes out of some parts of Trinity County, some parts of Glenn County, and all of the Mendocino National Forest. We're really subsidizing the, the, the Forest Service for taking care of their trash problems. We just happen to pay because of the distance. It's not a trash density, it's a distance of getting that trash to location is what is what that small subsidy. But I think there's a pretty good difference between a $3,000 or a $36,000 year subsidy versus a $700,000 cost to the general fund so I, I I don't think I mean well now if there's, you vote for this it'll only be 600,000 if you vote for the fee increase it'll be 600 okay let's let's bring this back total, and this take some action. Is the total package <laughs> let's bring this back and take some action on it one way or the other please I'll move the recommended action okay. mr. chair thank you it's there is a motion before us is there a second Certainly. there is a second um, Discussion to the item. Supervisor Delaware. Is there a desire to break those by department or is it going to be a package? I was just, I, in the interest of time, I thought we could just concur on it and move forward. That was my sense. And that's in the motion. Because I think the way that it was brought forward by Ms. Wyatt, and I believe you had yes. it packaged as one yes. item. Yes. Yes. Further discussion? Um, These increases are already in a proposed budget anyway. It takes no recalculating, right? To the clerk, did you have a concern? I just wanted to make sure that the motion was to adopt the resolution as presented, directing staff to incorporate the two minor edits that you discussed. Which yes, were and I, it would also be, and right, right. yeah. The, the the yes. Yeah. The edits and the attachment yeah. of second understood. Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion? Yes. Supervisor Kovacs was the second. Supervisor Delmore. Well, I won't support the motion. I have no problem with the departments with the exception of the solid waste. I have real concerns with that one. I think that you have too many issues that are going on right now, and I'm concerned about the whole way the Fort Bragg issue comes into play with this, and I'm not interested in raising the rates on the inside of the county to, to help out the, the Fort Bragg side. So I... If we st that was broken out, I'd support the other departments, but I'm not going to support the solid waste one. Okay, thank you very much. Any further discussion on the motion? Um, let's go for uh, the, the button, and uh, please place your votes. Motion carries the supervisor is Delbar and Pinch is dissenting. Okay, thank you very much. Um, In two more years, I'll have three votes. Maybe less than that, Supervisor <laughs> Pinchin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, Break. Let's see. Um, there is a quick item, I believe it'll be quick. There's an off agenda item uh, presented from the Sheriff's Office um, uh, due to uh, uh, expediting this process, and we do not meet before uh, August 5th. Um, so moved the off agenda item, Mr. Chair been moved as an off agenda item can we please state the title for the record okay the off agenda item is to be taken up is approval of purchase of a telephone emergency notification system utilizing grant funds awarded by the state of california office of Emer office of homeland security and a fixed asset schedule 